नमस्ते आई एम एडवोकेट बी आर बोरनाक एडवोकेट हाई कोर्ट मुंबई आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट माई टूडेज लेक्चर माई टूडेज लेक्चर इज ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ नॉमिनेशन एंड ट्रांसफर ऑफ शेयर्स एंड इंटरेस्ट इन द कैपिटल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द सोसाइटी टू द नॉमिनी और नॉमिनीज सो टू एक्सप्लेन दिस टॉपिक टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू रेफर द प्रोविजन्स इन द बायोलॉज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू रेफर द प्रोविजन्स इन द बायोलॉज देर आफ्टर आई एम गोइंग टू रेफर प्रोविजन्स इन द महाराष्ट्र कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटीज एक्ट नाइनटीन सिक्सटी एंड दोज प्रोविजन्स एज पर न्यू अमेंडमेंट ऑफकोर्स एंड फर्दर आई एम गोइंग टू रेफर हियर अ हिस्टोरिकल जजमेंट ऑफ द ऑनरेबल सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया इन द सिविल अपील बिटवीन इंद्राणी वही एपेलेंट वर्सेस रजिस्ट्रार ऑफ कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटीज एंड अदर्स रिस्पॉन्डेंट्स ओके नाउ लेट अस सी हियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द प्रोविजन्स इन द बायोलॉज प्रोविजन्स इन द बायोलॉज दैट इज बायोलॉ नंबर थर्टी टू इट प्रोवाइड्स फॉर प्रोसीजर फॉर नॉमिनेशन बाय अ मेम्बर एंड इट्स रिवोकेशन रिविजन दैट इज रिवोकेशन और रिविजन of the nomination by a member i am going to uh, explain uh, these provisions in detail uh, later on as we go further now further uh, uh, provision in bylaws that is bylaw number 33 bylaw number 33 provides for recording of nomination or revocation or revision thereof means that is recording of revocation or revision by the society further uh, bylaw number 34 provides for transfer of shares and interest of the deceased member in the capital property of the society to the nominee or nominees these are the provisions in the bylaw bylaw number 32 bylaw number 33 and bylaw number 34 i am going to explain in detail uh, uh, later on now further uh, provisions in the maharashtra cooperative societies act 1960 as per new amendment took place in 2019 first provision is there under section 154b1 into bracket 18 into bracket 6 that is definition of a provisional member that is 154b1 18c further 154b13 this is uh, for transfer of interest on death of a member see earlier section 30 was applicable to cooperative housing society but now this section 30 is replaced as per new amendment by new section 154b13 hence now hence for section 30 will not be applicable for cooperative housing societies instead section 154b13 will be applicable for cooperative housing societies which provides for transfer of interest on death of a member thereafter i am going to refer a historical judgment of the honorable supreme court of india in civil appeal between indrani wahi appellant versus rajisar of cooperative societies and others respondent now let us see one by one these provisions now as per bylaw number 32 bylaw number 32 provides for procedure for nomination by a member and revocation revision of the nomination by a member means there is a provision for nomination means this is a right of a member to make nomination stating there in that after his death to whom his shares and interest in the capital property of the society shall be transferred he has also right to revoke his earlier nomination or to revise her early nomination by making fresh nomination or by uh, if he doesn't want to make fresh nomination so by submitting a letter of revocation he can revoke his nomination the, those rights the member uh, has as per bylaw number 
now uh, what are the provisions mentioned in the bylaw number 32 first who can do nomination and how here a member or a joint member now now joint member as per amendment a member or a joint member can do nomination can make nomination stating therein that after his death to whom his share shall be transferred his shares and interest in the capital property of the society shall be transferred means a member or joint member can do nomination the mode of nomination must be by writing under his hand in the prescribed form now to do nomination to submit nomination uh, to be recorded in the record of the society there is a prescribed form if we refer appendix 14 that that prescribed form is appendix number 14 that is given in the bylaws okay in the prescribed form whatever details are there those details are required to be filled in uh, in writing of the member concern and the nomination form is required to be submitted to the society so uh, recording of nomination form in the record of the society that we are going to see in bylaw number 33 here we will see procedure of nomination by a member it is revocation revision etc so who can do nomination a member or a joint member how by writing under his hand and in the prescribed form that prescribed form is appendix number 14 that is given in the bylaws now what is the purpose of making nomination purpose of making nomination that to transfer after his death his shares interest to the person nominated means he uh, wants to re, uh, put on record of the society his intention that after his death to whom his shares and interest in the capital of the uh, capital property of the society shall be transferred from is to whom the uh, mentioning name of the nominee or nominees in the nomination form now here uh, many a times what happens the members they submit nomination forms in triplicate to the society uh, and at society's level uh, because of lack of knowledge etc the proper action is not taken and all these three forms they are kept by the society in society's record means uh, it is not given to the members as means the as per the procedure uh, the society doesn't take action in that case see a uh, mere acknowledgement of nomination by the secretary or authorized person is deemed as acceptance of nomination means the member concerned must get, get acknowledgement and mere acknowledgement of the nomination form that is deemed to be the acceptance of the nomination by the society okay means uh, if uh, further procedure is not uh, done by the society as per bylaw number 33 then also nomination is valid okay now let us see fees for nomination now there is no fees for recording the first nomination if any member want to record his first nomination in the record of the society then he will have uh, not to pay any fees means no fees is there for recording the first nomination but for every revision of the nomination shall be charged a fees of rupees 100 it means if the member want to revise his nomination and uh, he want to put on record another nomination then for every revision of the nomination the member will have to pay rupees 100 these, these are the provisions as per the bylaws now let us see revocation of nomination a member can revoke revise his nomination at any time during his lifetime he can revoke or revise his nomination at any time he has that liberty he has that option uh, for uh, uh, revocation or revi uh, revision of the nomination 
he will have to make application in writing under his hand to the society uh, and revocation or re uh, revision or fresh nomination amounts to cancellation of earlier nomination here also mere acknowledgement shall be deemed as acceptance of revocation uh, variation or fresh nomination by the society and the revocation or variation or fresh nomination amounts to cancellation of earlier nomination by default now these are the provisions under bylaw number 32 now let us see what are the provisions under bylaw number 33 bylaw number 33 provides for recording of nomination or revocation or revision thereof by the member by the so uh, by the okay means recording of revocation revision recording of nomination as well as recording of revocation and revision now what is the procedure see nomination form is submitted in triplicate one copy is as acknowledgement another copy after uh, endorsing the uh, entry by the secretary that the nomination uh, form was uh, put before the managing committee meeting uh, for being uh, taken on record and it is registered in the nomination register at serial number with this remark another copy is given to the member and third copy with the same remark that is kept with the society for society's record so for these purposes these three forms are there as soon as the member submits his nomination forms in triplicate one copy that is mentioned specifically as acknowledgement immediately that copy has to be returned to the concerned member uh, 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 as acknowledgement with due signature uh, by the secretary or by the uh, by authorized person of the society immediately this acknowledgement uh, is to be given to the member thereafter remaining two forms they are put by the secretary before the next managing committee meeting to be brought on record and in that managing committee meeting the forms are brought on record it means there is no uh, option for the managing committee to reject managing committee see nomination forms are put before uh, the uh, nomination forms are put before the meeting of the managing committee just to bring on record so uh, that remark is put on the on, on uh, the remaining two copies that the nomination form was put before the managing committee meeting held on date of the meeting uh, for being uh, 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 for bringing on record and the nomination form is registered in the nomination register at serial number that number is mentioned this remark is mentioned on the remaining two forms and one copy again that is returned back with uh, due signature of the secretary to the member and last copy uh, by obtaining a member signature that uh, duplicate copy has been received uh, that copy is uh, kept for society's record this is the procedure of the recording of nomination or revocation revision thereof see once there is a resolution in the, in the minutes of the managing committee uh, the uh, no, in, entry in the nomination register must be made by the secretary within 7 days of the meeting of the managing committee that is binding on the secretary so bylaw number 33 provides for recording of nomination or recording of revocation or revision of the nomination now let us see important uh, uh, provision under bylaw number 34 that provision is transfer of shares and interest of the deceased member in the capital property to the nominee or nominees means after death of a member to transfer the shares and interest of the deceased member in the name of nominee what is the procedure means after death of a member the shares and interest of the deceased member they are transferred to the name of nominee or nominees on the basis of nomination 
डन बाय द मेंबर और जॉइंट मेंबर सो व्हाट इज द डॉक्यूमेंट्स रिक्वायर्ड हियर सी लिटिल बिट टेक्निकली आल्सो आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग हियर व्हिच डॉक्यूमेंट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड एग्जैक्ट डॉक्यूमेंट्स एज पर बायलॉज एज पर बायलॉ नंबर थर्टी फोर थर्टी फोर एंड एज प्रोवाइडेड इन द लिस्ट ऑफ प्रिस्क्राइब फॉर्म्स विच डॉक्यूमेंट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड वॉट पेमेंट्स आर रिक्वायर टू बी मेड दैट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन सी द विच डॉक्यूमेंट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू बी सबमिटेड बाय द नॉमिनी और नॉमिनीज सी एज पर द प्रोविंस ऑफ द ऑफ द बायलॉ नंबर थर्टी फोर दे आर टू बी सबमिटेड विद इन सिक्स मंथ्स बट एवन दो सोसाइटी कैन टेक सम लिबरल स्टैंड बट इन द एज पर द प्रोविजन्स दैट पीरियड इज पीरियड गिवन इज ऑफ सिक्स मंथ्स सो विच डॉक्यूमेंट्स आर रिक्वायर टू बी सबमिटेड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डेथ सर्टिफिकेट ऑफ द डिसीज मेंबर मीन्स टू एज इंटीमेशन टू द सोसाइटी दैट द मेंबर इज डाइड नाउ ही इज डिसीज नाउ दैट फॉर दैट पर्पज डेथ सर्टिफिकेट ऑफ द डिसीज मेंबर देन नॉमिनेशन फॉर्म हैविंग दैट रिमार्क एंडोर्समेंट दैट इट वॉज पुट बिफोर द मैनेजिंग कमिटी मीटिंग एंड रजिस्टर्ड इन द नॉमिनेशन रजिस्टर दैट फॉर्म Uh, that nomination form copy of that nomination form that is also required to be submitted then uh, to endorse uh, nominee's name on the share certificate original share certificate is also required to be submitted besides this as per bylaws some forms are prescribed which are required to be submitted by the nominee first that form is appendix number 15 or appendix number 1 this appendix the, these two forms they are uh, uh, either or means they are uh, for application for membership they are to be submitted as application for membership now when appendix generally appendix number 15 is submitted uh, when the nominee is a major and sound mind means he is competent to contract uh, so far as his age of majority and his condition of mind is concerned means when the nominee is major and he is sound mind then appendix number 15 is prescribed and if the nominee is minor or of unsound mind that in that case appendix number 1 is prescribed since the uh, since uh, the uh, appendix number 15 that is submitted by a major and sound mind person he himself can sign that form appendix number 15 but so far as appendix number 1 is concerned it is submitted for uh, as application for membership of a minor or person of unsound mind that uh, appendix has to be signed by the uh uh the natural guardian by the natural guardian or legal representative of that person means minor or unsound mind person because as per the uh, law uh, uh, indian contract act uh, and other laws minor and person of unsound mind means they uh, have no uh, uh, legal capacity to sign the documents that is why on their behalf that form is signed by the natural guardian or legal representative of the nominee okay means here appendix 15 or appendix 1 that is application for membership another form that is appendix number 3 on rupees 200 stamp paper this appendix uh, has to be submitted and this is uh, an undertaking for no change of user means for what purpose that flat has been allotted that intending member that is nominee gives undertaking in appendix number 3 on rupees 200 stamp paper undertaking that he or she will use the flat for the purpose it was originally allotted that is appendix number 3 the, uh, uh, later on uh, if the intending member that is nominee if he is a non earning person then uh, there is prescribed another uh, form that is appendix number 4 that is also on rupees 200 stamp paper now uh, that is undertaking by the person undertaking by the person on whom nominee is dependent 
for discharge of liabilities to the society because the society is going to admit a person as a member and that person will have to pay dues of the society and if that person has no independent source of income then in what manner that person will discharge the liabilities of the society that is why some another person must give undertaking and take responsibility that the indi- the person going to become member of the society he is a non earning person that is why i take the responsibility i undertake to pay or uh, discharge liabilities of the society for the uh, uh, intending member of the society this appendix number 4 for that is if required that appendix is required to be submitted if required okay in normal course if uh, there is one nominee these uh, documents are required if there are uh, more nominees that is more than one nominees are there in that case some besides these documents some additional uh, documents are prescribed that is appendix number 18 on rupees 500 stamp paper that is indemnity bond indemnity bond by the nominee uh, who is intending to member of the society means there there are more nominees one of them will have to be admitted as a member of the society and the nominee who is going to apply for membership he will have to give Uh, uh submit an indemnity bond on rupees 500 stamp paper in appendix number 18 stating therein that uh, there are more nominees and i am going to I, i apply to the member for the membership of the society and in future if uh, there will be any friction dispute litigation etc between or amongst us then uh, uh, society will not be held responsible or if any loss damage etc caused to the society i will be responsible uh, i indemnify the society to make uh, the good or to pay to the society like that they, this uh, indemnity bond is there if there are more nominees appendix number 18 on rupees 500 stamp paper and another there uh, they will have to submit collectively a joint affidavit on rupees 200 stamp paper now by all nominees Uh, mentioning there in that particular person particular nominee will become member of the society and our names uh, means uh, names of the other nominees that will be recorded after his name like that and they have no objection to admit that particular person uh, as a member of the society this joint affidavit is also required in case where there are more nominees than one so these are the documents required Uh, to be submitted as per bible number 34 now let us come to the payment payment here uh, uh, that uh, nominee or nominees they will have to submit that is entrance fees only that is entrance fees of rupees 100 per nominee per means the persons uh, if one one nominee is there then rupees 100 if uh, two nominees and if both of them they uh, want their names to be recorded in record of the society and uh, on share certificate then in that case they will have to pay rupees 100 per nominee now these are the uh, provisions in the bylaw number 34 technical things also i have explained now the important thing uh, that uh, this uh, no- concept nomination is uh, mistaken uh, as a uh, confusion by some persons while working in the society or while making nomination also so this a nomination doesn't give any right of ownership of title in the property to the nominee that i am going to explain uh, uh, at the conclusion uh, stage of this lecture but here i will have to mention the note to this bylaw number 34 in bylaws of the society there is a note specific note to bylaw number 34 what is that note that note is in case of acquiring membership on the basis of nomination such member shall hold the flat or unit in trust till all the legal heirs are brought on record and shall not have the right to ownership and shall not create the third party interest or alienation in any way whatsoever 
means uh, after acquiring the membership of the society on the basis of nomination that person will hold the flat or unit in trust he shall not have any right of ownership he, that is why he uh, cannot create any sort of third party interest or he cannot uh, mortgage the flat etc means he will act as a trustee till all legal heirs are brought on record now this is very much clear now there is no question of confusion some persons they circulate out they share in whatsapp group uh, uh, some uh, news or some post uh, but that is not valid that is totally uh, uh, false uh, that post is and uh, ignore at all don't consider even don't read that immediately delete that post because now it is more clear that nominee when he becomes member he will hold the flat in trust he shall not have right to ownership till all the legal heirs are brought on record now it is clear that i am going to explain uh, in uh, concluding uh, uh, part of this lecture as well uh now uh, uh when there is a, uh, see uh, another uh, when there is a no nomination that part also i will uh, deal here uh, as provided in bylaw number 35 when there is no nomination in that case when there is no nomination or uh, no nominee comes forward to become member of the society in that case uh, as per bylaw number 35 the actions the society will have to take or the persons if they come forward to uh, uh, claim uh, uh, that they are heirs of the uh, the deceased member without bringing any documentary evidence such as succession certificate heirship certificate or testament any testamentary document or any family uh, but, uh, arrangement deeds etc without bringing any of these documents if uh, persons uh, any person come forward Uh, and uh, uh, they uh, wants to uh, he, he wants to become he or she wants to become member of the society then managing committee will have to consider they means they will have to use their judicious mind over oh, yes this person is son daughter wife okay on that basis they will have to uh, give membership to that person again this membership is also temporary now as per bylaw number 34 what 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 are the provisions means what the bylaw number 35 provides for 35 provides for this bylaw number 35 provides for transfer of shares and interest of deceased member in capital property of the society to the heir to the heir means the person who claims to be heir where a member dies without making a nomination or no nominees come forward in that case uh, these provisions are applicable as provided under bylaw number 35 now uh, what are the uh, procedure what means which documents are required here this is also again the person claiming uh, to be a heir uh, within 6 month uh, uh, he will have to approach to the society now let us see which documents are required under bylaw number 35 first thing that is death certificate of the deceased member that is to intimate about death of the member deceased member then original share certificate to get the name endorsed on share certificate the original share certificate will have to be submitted by the claimant then here after uh, getting uh, intimation this uh, there is a uh, appendix number 16 appendix number 16 that is format of public notice the public notice in this case because there is no no no, no nomination and uh, the managing committee should not take risk uh, that is why public notice is given uh, inviting claims Uh, on shares and interests of the deceased member within prescribed time period this public notice is published in two local newspapers besides that that notice is also displayed on the notice boards of the society and after expiry of the period mentioned in the notice the managing committee can proceed further to act as per the provisions of bylaw number 35 here after expiry uh, period after the mentioned in the uh, notice after expiry of the period mentioned in the notice the person uh, in the eyes of uh, managing committee 
आर एंटाइटल टू बिकम मेंबर ऑफ द सोसाइटी द कमिटी कैन आस्क देम और कंसिडरिंग द क्लेम्स एट्सेट्रा द कमिटी कैन आस्क द क्लेमेंट्स टू सबमिट द डॉक्यूमेंट्स दे आर अपेंडिक्स नंबर सेवेंटीन और अपेंडिक्स नंबर वन हेयर अगेन दिस अपेंडिक्स नंबर सेवेंटीन और अपेंडिक्स नंबर वन दैट इज एप्लीकेशन फॉर मेंबरशिप मीन्स वेन अपेंडिक्स नंबर सेवेंटीन दैट इज टू बी सबमिटेड वेन द हेयर द पर्सन क्लेमिंग टू बी हेयर he is major by age and uh, he is of sound mind and if in case uh, he is minor or uh, of unsound mind person then appendix number 1 okay again that appendix number 17 can be is signed by the person applying for membership and appendix number 1 is signed by natural guardian or legal representative again then another uh, appendix that is appendix number 19 here the, this is appendix number 19 is an indemnity bond that is required to be submitted on rupees 500 stamp paper here indemnity bond is mandatory whether there is one claimant or more more claimant it is irrespective under byron number 35 when there is no nomination indemnity bond is mandatory in appendix number 19 Here also again appendix number three on rupees two hundred stamp paper that is undertaking by the intending member to use the flat unit for the purpose it was originally uh, originally allotted that appendix number thirteen is required and here also if the intending member of the society if he is non earning member here also appendix number four is required to be submitted. that is uh, on uh, to uh, rupees 200 stamp paper undertaking by the person on whom the intending member of the society is dependent to discharge the liabilities of the society because here the intending member of the society is a non earning person so if there is one claimant these documents are required this procedure this procedure is required to be completed then if more than one heir is there come they come forward then in that case they will have to submit collective joint affidavit on rupees 200 stamp paper that uh, between or amongst them who will be uh, member of the society and uh, others they their names can be recorded after uh, name of that person this type of joint affidavit they will have to give to the society and they will have to undertake uh, the society, uh, society to indemnify if in future there will be friction Uh, uh conflict uh, or litigation etc uh, amongst them uh, that is there means that joint affidavit is required to be given by all these claimants all these persons who claim to be heirs of the deceased member now so far as payment is concerned here also uh, payment of entrance fees that is rupees 100 per claimant that uh, no, per person per heir rupees 100 entrance fee okay means these are the provisions as per byron number 35 here also uh, one precaution as a precaution uh, some provision uh, is made in this uh, bylaws that if there is uh, no uh, agreement uh, between or among the legal heirs uh, and consensus is not there they do not come to conclusion and uh, there is a friction conflict at that stage only between or amongst the persons claiming to be heirs of the deceased member then the society can ask them to bring succession certificate because they are not coming to the conclusion there is uh, means proper settlement is not going to take place the in that case society or the managing committee should not take the risk the managing committee or the society they will have to tell all of them uh, we go to the court competent court and bring succession certificate then only society will do according to the succession certificate by that time the society will maintain the status quo so this is the provision of byron number 35 now let us come Uh, to the legal provision as per new amendment now as per new amendment under section 154 b1 18 c definition of a provisional member that is given definition of provisional member because now uh, the status of nominee member that will be a provisional member as per the new amendment so what is this definition definition is 
provisional member means a person who is a duly admitted as a member of a society temporarily after death of a member on the basis of a nomination till the admission of a legal heir when we refer the legal heir means that is certified by the court that time that heir can be called as legal heir till the admission of legal heir or heirs as the member or members of the society in place of deceased member means clearly it is mentioned that the person admitted to the membership on the basis of nomination shall be provisional member and he shall be admitted as a member of the society temporarily till the admission of legal heir or he heirs of the deceased member okay here also it is clear that the nominee member shall be temporary nominee shall be admitted as a member temporarily and his status will be of a provisional member that is temporary temporary status he will get as a member in the society this is definition then uh, in section uh, 154 b 13 there is a provision for transfer of interest on death of a member uh, now section 30 is not applicable uh, for cooperative housing societies instead of section 30 this section 154 b 13 is applicable for transfer of interest on death of a member now let us see the provision of section 154 b 13 that is transfer of share right title and interest in the property on the basis of testamentary document see see this provision uh, uh, gives entire information that is society's uh, preference will be if the legal heirs or the persons uh, entitled for title or ownership in the flat or property if they have succeeded to obtain testamentary documentation that is probate of will then succession certificate or legal heirship certificate or document of family arrangement then first preference will be given to the persons if they have obtained any one of these documents because the any one of these documents uh, proves that Uh, they are the person or persons they are entitled for title or ownership in the flat because uh, uh, this testamentary document succession certificate means these are legal documents and they this docu any of these documents any of it proves that the person holding this or in whose favor this any of these documents that is issued that person is entitled to that flat or property of the society so, so the, the the society can prefer this one if there is uh, if uh, the, these documents are not available then society will opt to transfer the shares and interest on the basis of nomination and if there is no nomination then the uh, person who comes uh, the person who comes forward as a heir of the society that is as per by law number 35 okay now in that section only the status of nominee again is underlined as a provisional member nominee as a provisional member so see how it is mentioned in this section nominee shall be admitted as a provisional member till legal heir or heirs or a person who is entitled to the flat and shares in accordance with succession law or under will or under testamentary document are admitted as a member means the nominee is admitted as a provisional member temporarily till legal heir or heirs or a person who is entitled to the flat and shares in accordance with the succession law or and will under will or testamentary document are admitted as member means once any entitled person is admitted on the basis of any of these documents then 
द मेंबरशिप ऑफ द नॉमिनी दैट विल कम टू एन एंड इफ नॉमिनी इज द नॉमिनी इज नॉट द सेम पर्सन हु हैज सक्सीडेड टू ऑप्टेन एनी ऑफ दिज डॉक्यूमेंट्स इफ नॉमिनी इज समान अदर पर्सन दिज देन ही इज मेंबरशिप विल कम टू एन एंड and the person who has uh, obtained any of these documents that person will be admitted to the membership of the society because he has proved that he is entitled to ownership he is entitled to title in that flat or property that is why he will be admitted as a member and his member will be regular membership main membership not provisional membership because he has he has proved Uh, on the basis of any of these documents and uh, membership of the nominee that will come to an end here again it is underlined the membership given on the basis of nomination that is purely provisional membership and it is purely temporary membership thereafter if uh, nomination is not there under the same section 154b13 it is provided uh, to transfer shares and interests uh in the name of heir transferring shares and interest in the in the name of heir in absence of any of these documents that is again giving provisional membership to the heir that is also when membership is given to the heir as per bylaw number 35 uh without uh, bringing any of these documents then that membership also shall be provisional that is temporary membership till uh, any uh, person brings this any of the documents so it is very much clear under uh, section 154 b13 again uh, in note to bylaw number uh, uh, 34 uh, in the definition given under section 154 b1 18 and c now let us see case law the historical judgment of supreme court is there on record mm, the honorable supreme court of india Uh, uh has uh, given a historical judgment in civil appeal number 4646 of 2006 this civil appeal number 4646 of 2006 this appeal was between indrani wahi the appellant versus rajeshar of cooperative societies and others respondents okay uh this judgment was given by the honorable justice jagdish singh kher justice uh, and honorable justice c nagappan justice this judgment was given on march 10 2016 now let me quote here specific paras of that judgment because judgment that judgment is big one so specific paras and you can refer uh, means you can uh, the refer that judgment and the uh, wording in the specific paras see uh, if we refer para number 19 of the judgment in para number 19 of the judgment it is clearly uh, mentioned by the uh, honorable court that the cooperative society is liable to transfer the share or interest of a member in the name of the nominee here uh, on the base, this wording on the basis of this wording uh, some people claim uh, in different uh, uh, meaning or different manner but it is not so see the cooperative society is liable to transfer the share or interest the share or interest means that is just membership that is uh, uh, share, uh, shares uh, uh, are given by the society uh, uh, to become member of the society that is only share share or interest not title not ownership see it is clearly mentioned the cooperative society is liable to transfer the share or interest of a member in the name of nominee okay now in para number 20 it is made more clear uh, about the status or about the right of other heirs uh, uh, other legal heirs see uh, here the uh, honorable supreme court has mentioned uh, clearly that the cooperative society has no option whatsoever except to transfer the membership in the name of the nominee here it is made clear means the cooperative society will have to transfer the membership in the name of nominee further it is mentioned that that would have no relevance to the issue of title between the inheritors or successors 
to the property of the deceased means giving membership to the nominee on the basis of nomination would have no relevance to the issue of title that is to the issue of ownership means giving membership on the basis of nomination to the nominee would have no relevance to the issue of title or ownership between the inheritors or successors to the property of the deceased means they shall have right in the title or ownership of the property further it is stated by the honorable court that it shall however be open to the other members of the family to pursue his or their case of succession or inheritance in that case as there was only a person another person claiming on the basis of legal heirship that is why it is mentioned if it shall however be open to the other members of the family to pursue his case of succession or inheritance if he is so advised in consonance with law means the person can have uh, means the other legal heirs they have option they have right on the basis of succession or inheritance on the basis of membership on the basis of nomination mem only membership is given and not the ownership or title is transferred other legal heirs they have option to pursue under succession law of succession or inheritance means it is clear that by this judgment also that uh, members uh, uh, transferring shares and in, in interest to the nominee on the basis of nomination that is merely a transfer of membership it has no relevance to the issue of title of ownership it is clearly mentioned this is historical judgment uh, uh, of the supreme honorable supreme court now all i have seen provisions in the bylaws provisions in the act as per new amendment the historical judgment of the honorable supreme court of india now let us conclude in conclusion as per section 154 b 118 c that is as per definition of a provisional member and as per the provisions of section 154 b 13 that is transfer of interest on death of a member and as per note to bylaw number 34 and as decided by the honorable supreme court of india in the appeal indrani wahi the appellant versus rajisar of cooperative societies and others the respondents it is now it is now proved beyond doubt means it is now established fact that nominee is a person who is duly admitted as a member of a society temporarily after death of a member on the basis of nomination till the admission of legal heir or heirs as the member of the society in place of deceased member that is nominee is admitted to the membership temporarily further nominee shall be entitled uh, nominee shall be admitted as a provisional member till legal heir or heirs or person who is entitled to the flat and shares in accordance with the succession law or under will or testamentary document are admitted as a member means nominee shall be admitted as a provisional member only on temporary basis and in case of acquiring membership on the basis of nomination such member shall hold the flat unit in trust till all the legal heirs are brought on record and shall not have the right to ownership and shall not create the third party interest or alienation in any way whatsoever means it is now clear and i think uh, uh, what i have explained uh, during this entire lecture that uh, uh, you, you can come to uh, conclusion that the status of the nominee is now of a provisional member and he is a temporary member he has no right 
in the uh, ownership title of the flat or unit till he bring documents uh, 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 of testament uh, the, till he brings testamentary document of succession certificate or legal heirship certificate or document of family arrangement means his status is the status of the nominee as a member is as a trustee he holds the flat unit in trust till all the legal heirs are brought on record he has no ownership right uh, and he cannot create third party interest any sort of third party interest and he uh, and our alienation in any way whatsoever so it is clear that the nominee is a just caretaker or trustee of the flat or unit in the society so uh, uh, and as per new provision he is a provisional member now that's all there is no need of confusion now on the on this issue i conclude here i uh, close uh, my today's topic here uh, and thank you very much for listening me uh, 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 through this entire lecture thank you very much we will meet uh, during next lecture thank you very much